Никой не знае ми спомнят тази битва. Alright, wonderful people. Alright, wonderful people. Um, I greet you all once again today. Um, I want you all to join me on today's broadcast. It's going to be very, very important that we do the need for. Um, today is going to be something different. Um, and I know that uh, we have many times talk to our people in a way that is very, very bad. But that is, what is constant in life is change. And um, I thank you all for being here today. And uh, I'm supposed to be with my brother, but um, we talk about this, but I don't know the reason why I couldn't get him. I think he's busy and uh, I have to come to talk to our people. As you are joining, make sure you invite your friends. Make sure you invite people that are around you. Tell them to come so that they can be able to listen to what I'm about to say today. It's very, very important that we do the needful because we are still in a new phase of campaign to free Onyendu Mazin Nambe Kuchukukani. Who brought this ideology to us? who is our leader, who is also the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, uh, the director of Radio Biafra, and also the director of Biafran Television under his leadership. I thank you all great people. As you are coming, please, I'm not going to waste, I'm not going to take much of your time. We are going to make it snappy and uh, i have to discuss a lot of things today i have to uh tell our people what is going to come and uh, we have to join hands together to be able let me see if i'm coming out uh sound because um uh, i'm using my computer let me see let me see I have to use this because I can't hear it direct from here. I have to hear it direct through my through my earphone if I'm coming out live. I mean, I'm coming out clear. That is what I want to see uh, before I will proceed. I'm going to show our people a lot of videos today. I'm going to show our people the videos of international community because they have begun to speak about Biafra. You know, we said that we are not going to pay them. We are going to listen to CNN, what they talk about this selection, even though the CNN by themselves knows that it's a selection. And you are going to hear it by yourself when they were calling it selection. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to bring you what the international, uh, international community are talking about Biafra. They are now telling you when the Fulanese and British people start killing our people. They made a very short documentary and I'm going to show it to our people and you are going to see it. Uh, because what we are doing here, I am coming here to connect the dots. I don't know if I can be able to see. Um, yes. Yes. Okay, uh, I am coming out clear. I am coming out clear. Uh, good, I am coming out clear. Yes, I'm coming out clear. Uh, great people, as you are joining, don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your families, invite people that are around you, tell them to come. Let us do this once and for all. Our uh, election have come and gone. Uh, we must also uh, unite with our people. I am not coming here to mock our people again, but I'm coming here to tell them 
way forward uh, because they have tried. Uh, you know, the worst thing that happens to our people is obedient. Um, and I'm not going to deny it, Obi is my brother. Obi have tried because uh, I know some of our people, if you are telling them, they won't understand. They won't understand and they won't think about it at all. They think that uh, uh, by Obi coming out as a, a presidential candidate, they are going to vote him. And today we have seen it that nothing can work. And of course, we have been saying they stand with that number from the beginning that uh, regardless if Obi even if Obi contests, nobody is going to give it to Obi because they have said it from the beginning that the Nigeria is their great grandfather island. That is what they said. And uh, I don't know why some of our professors, those people they say they are thinkers, philosophers, uh, couldn't even understand what those people meant when they were giving all those uh, all those of their words. And um, now I have a lot of brothers and sisters that also, you know, trying to, they vindicate us with IPOB under the leadership of Mazin Nambi Okuchukano. They vindicate us. And I so much love them. Not all those people that will come, you know, all these things that is happening today is all about comedy. And I don't care about people making comedy. There are some few people that I saw on the media they were trying to, you know, they vindicate us. They let the world understand that if this election couldn't hold, they are going to hold IPOB and the Mazen Namdekano responsible of this election. And I want you people to understand this. If what this in Finland we are saying, uh, that there are no election in Biafra land, I am telling you people this. If we base on no election in Biafra land, you see all these courts that, uh, what is his name, uh, OB said that they want to go article. There will be no room for them to go to court. Because the kind of the winning that Tinubu is going to win them, it will be no going to court. Because what they did now, they see that we could not, we IPOB uh, lifted the election, people go there and practice what you feel like that is good for you. That is why you see they can be able to give OB uh, 12 states, I think they give him 12 states, Article 12 states, and the Tinubu 12 states. From there now, they begin to say who won the election. But if it's like we are in a sense that there is no election, what they will tell you is that no election in Biafra land, and the uh, Article that uh, uh, Tinubu that won, he will take a very higher uh, numbers that they could not be able to go to court but today they are planning to go to court and i will tell them if they want to go they should proceed uh, because and uh, i also keep on saying this uh because uh, we are not going to shy away from this we are always faced reality i have said this that nigeria is not for us and the what i'm going to say today i will be able i will make sure that i mind my words not to say things that is going to our people are going to feel bad. I want our people to calm down. I will stop abusing them. I want to use a tone that they will also understand what I'm saying because they themselves, they have understood what we have been saying that Nigeria can never walk. Nigeria can never stand. Especially you call, a you so-called Igbo man don't have any position in that contraption. Now we have understand it. Now we see it with our Koro Koro. In front of you, they are leaking the election. They are leaking the election. And that is exactly what we have been saying. I, we, and Mazen Namdi Okuchukano. We say it from the day one that uh, in Nigeria, it's all about selection. In Nigeria, it's all about selection. There is nothing you can do about it. And the, uh, the obedience, uh, the youth of Nigeria, we have said it out with that number. I, I, I heard Obasanjo telling the youth of Nigeria to go there and take their mandate. Uh, but the question is, can the youth of Nigeria go and take their mandate by fire, by force? I keep on saying this, Nigeria is not worth for fighting because in Nigeria, we have different, uh, a different I mean, um, uh, indigenous people. And uh, that is why we keep on saying in Nigeria, there is no how you can be able to fight I mean, they used to come as one because now that uh, at uh, Tinubu have won the election uh, through the selection, 
Now, what you are going to say, if OB started a movement or Atiku started a movement, they will try to use the talks from Yoruba land and begin to fight the orders. If the Biafran people start, I mean, movement, they may use Yoruba people to counter them. If Yoruba started movement, they will use Fulanese to counter them. That is exactly what is happening. That is why I keep on telling my people, we are not one people. If it's like we are one people, uh, there is a room for us to be able to achieve all these things. We saw what happened last time in, um, I think, uh, in uh, where, which country this thing happened, when the whole citizens, they take over the parliament, they chase away the government, because Malaysia, I think Malaysia, they are all one people. That is the reason why. Apart from that, such a thing can never happen. That is why we keep on telling our people we are not one. And I want to tell mostly the Biafran people to buckle their belt and embark on this journey of Biafran restoration project. This is only what can solve this problem. We are not going to also shy the way that Mazin Namdekano is still in prison today. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. And there is a question that I will keep on asking those obedient, obedient people that I could remember. I had some problem with one of my brother when I was trying to tell him what is going on, that this thing that he's thinking about is not going to happen. Uh, and his name is Annie Dawn. I sent a message to him. He replied also through media. And uh, at, at the end, after Simon ever set up this uh, uh, three days or four days sit at home that uh, uh, killed one of our, our, our mother with the unborn baby, uh, after then they begin to realize and understand that all this thing that I have been saying is truth. But there is one particular question that I want to ask my people. Like I said today, I'm not going to say any abusive words to our people. I'm just trying to encourage them so that they can be able to come back on this family and join them because, like I said always, the worst thing that happens to us is Obi being Igbo man, contesting for election. And our people thought that Obi is going to win. That is the problem. And Obi won. And we have been saying this because we know the structure of that contraption. That is why we keep on saying, we are, I'm not into prophetic. I am telling you reality because I face reality. That is why I will keep on telling you what I can see. I don't believe in superstitious. I believe in physical. We have already calculated all these things and come in conclusion that there is no how Obi can come there. Because when you go back to your census, you will understand. I hope you people are paying attention to what I'm saying. But the one particular question that I want to ask our people, we have a lot of people, like I said, I have a problem with my brother, not a problem of fighting, but uh, I, I was in your own so that go on with you, what I'm... Mazi, I'm already live. I have waited. I'm already live. Maybe it will be next time. I'm already live. Mazi, I can't shut this live down. I'm already live, Mazi. I can, there's no how I can shut it down. I'm already live. I called you, but you were busy. I think... Uh, you know, everything I'm doing, I'm myself, I'm also working with time, please. Mazi, uh, maybe we're going to schedule this thing the next time, please. They will. Thank you. I remain blessed. So, uh, there's a one particular question that I want to ask my people. I remember when this election, they started this er election of rumor, Obi is coming. Our people say one, something, one thing, and most of them are saying the same thing. They said... That we should vote P2B if we vote P2B, that P2B is going to bring Mazen Namdekano out. Uh, we debated on that thing so much. Not that I debate with people, but I'm trying to tell people that Obi has nothing to do with Mazen Namdekano. Obi is going on a movement of Nigeria. Why Mazen Namdekano is fighting for the freedom of Biafran people? These things are two different things. You can never come and join these two things together. That is why we keep on telling our people, you should stop all those nonsense. You should stop all those, those idiocy that if Obi get there, Obi is going to release Mazin Namdekan. We tell them no. Mazin Namdekan was once, was once in prison. They arrested him. And who was the president by then? Mbugari. And the Mazin Namdekan was, they shotted him to, be, to, to stay outside till the court. It's a full animal was there by then. And we'll be able to meet to with uh, the what they need for Mazin Namdekano to be 
to be out and wait for his, his court case before they come on 14th in Afaruki Bay with a fighter jet and assorted weapon and the sophisticated weapons and all rest of them fighter jet and at the same time they kill our people they massacred our people at the end of that uh, incident we recovered 28 bodies dead bodies in Afaruki Bay in palace and rest of them that we find we discovered their body inside the bushes you see and uh, Mazin Namdekan was out by then and now my question to you all is this all of you that based on P2B is going to free Mazin Namdekan all of you we are based on that but we the, we the IPOB under the leadership and under the structure of this movement of Biafran restoration project we said no because these things are two different things Obi is fighting for one Nigeria Mazin Namdekan is fighting for restoration of Biafra so you cannot bring these things together but today we have seen it now Obi is not there who is going to free Mazin Namdekan now this is my question to my people those of you that are making comedy those of you that come that came online begin to say if Obi did not enter there Mazi, no, 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 no. I'm already live. I'm already live. You can watch me. I'm already live, Mazi. Please, I'm already live. Please, let me continue this. Please, let me continue this. Please, Mazi, it's already 32. Please, um, my question now is, um, who is going to release Mazi and the Canada now? And when all these things were going on, um, we be able to secure the release of Mazi and the Canada by court of appeal the court of appeal discharge mazin namdekan are the same process of this election are the same process they are holding mazin namdekan we secured his release that he should be discharged and the the judge that we are there that they said that there must be no anymore no more charges on mazin namdekan we tell our people listen what is going to go on is because of this election there is no how they will release Mazin Namdekan because Bugari himself, the dead Bugari himself, uh, is you know African people with their primitive life. They will say, "Oh, oh, Mazin Namdekan can say all these things to me. He will come to my court. He will say things to me. So you want me to release him? Because when they go for political solution, Bugari said the dead one that is there or the one that wearing mask or their cabal said, no, we are not going to release him because in their own thinking they believe that they will jail Mazin Namdekan that is why they did not accept political um uh, solution because if they knew they will release Mazin Namdekan and say that ah we free him we are the people that free him that is why the dead Bugari or the mask wearer said let us go to court at the end they went to court we'll be able to secure his safety and his release but our people we are saying it will be that it will be this Obi now is where is Obi now can Obi, now that Obi is not a president, my question to every one of you that were that time on social media, rap, rap, yapping and talking all sorts of things that I don't know, who is going to release Mazin Namdekano today? That is my question. Who is going to release him? Who? I want you people to answer me question. What I'm seeing today on social media, Mazin Namdekan is a true man of God. Mazin Namdekan have said it. Mazin Namdekan have done that. Mazin Namdekan have done this. Ma but we have been, we have been telling you people this. We have been saying this because the one thing about all this thing is like this thing, this rigging of election did not start today. It have been there since 1963, and they have been killing our people since 1945. So. We have already looked deeply to understand that all this thing cannot work. And uh, I'm going to also show our people what the international community said about Biafran Restoration Project because now they have begun to talk about Biafra. Like as we said before that BBC, we are not going to pay them any shishi. But when time comes, they are going to talk about Biafra. And what did they do? They make a documentary. And of course, they were doing that documentary in a sense that uh, they want to pull us down. No, they are giving us more publication for the world to see that we have been fighting for Biafran Restoration Project. And the, the same that documentary they did, of course, we get to that one level. 
and now another people have come again, begin to tell the world what really happened to Biafra. I'm going to bring the video here. We are going to see the video. Uh, I'm not going to bring it on the camera, but I'm going to show you through my phone because there are some places that I will be able to cut off because of uh, community standard of uh, Facebook. Uh, they have tried for by giving us this privilege to begin to tell the world the quest and the reason why we're here on this quest of self-determination. And again, I'm also going to talk about Simon Eberima. I'm going to talk about Simon Eberima because I think that yesterday was the last day that he gave. And there is an article that I'm going to read out so for you people. And after I read the article out, I'm going to ask you people also a question so that you people can be able to answer because I am coming here in a new dimension, not begin to uh, hit our people hard because they have all have understand and there is no how they can fight for their freedom. How can you fight for your freedom? You can't if you are fighting for one Nigeria. How? So, uh, like I said, our people, some of you that are now today on social media saying that uh, Mazen Namdekano said it. What is your take now? Are you coming back to join this struggle? Especially the Igbo speaking Biafra, our Igbo, like I said, you know, Igbo, when we are talking about Igbo, the coastal region, down to hinterland of Biafra, we are all Igbos. But let me put it in, in this form. If all the coastal region can be able to stand in one voice, in one accord, in one mind and one soul, Believe you me, we are going to, you know, restore Biafra. That is most important. And I'm urging our people, I'm not going to say I'm begging you, but I'm urging you people to come and join this struggle. Let us push this forward because only what can make you a free man in that contraption that you find yourself is for you to have your own mouth, your own people. The same way of life, the same religion, the same identity, the same, you know, culture. And that is exactly what we are saying. In Nigerian today, there is no how you can say that this is a Nigerian food. It's impossible. It never happened. But you can be able to say this is Yoruba food because we know that Yoruba people, they are those people that have Amala. There is no place again. You can only find Amala, Amala again, maybe in a Benin. And when you come to Aosa people, they have two. When you come to our people, probably they will say they have or all these kind of things. So all these people have their own, you know, what you can be able to identify who they are. But now when you come to Nigeria, Nigeria has no culture. Nigeria has no background. That is why we keep on telling our people, Nigeria is a fabricated. Nigeria was concocted by a single man with the, with the boyfriend, with the girlfriend. And that is how Nigeria come to 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 stay today that i know that a lot of people have recognized nigeria as a sovereignty but uh, what can we do because of the beneficiary of international people towards the mineral resources that we have in that contraption now let me introduce myself before i will move forward begin to show our people's video because i have said to my people i have gotten to that stage that Everything that I'm saying, I have to show it to our people so that they can be able to see and you will not say that I'm lying to you all. All right, wonderful people, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. Here I am, I always set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Biafran Child in Washineke. The general, I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on the chain of command. Like I always tell my people, and I can never ever stop saying this to our people, because I know that some people that want to bring us down, that some people that are lying to their teeth, saying all manners of things, saying that the Biafran child in Washington can say this, Biafran child in Washington can say that. Um, yes, let me answer this call. Let me answer this call. But Mazi, that is too late already. Yes, Mazi. 
Yeah, I'm as it's okay. I'm already live. I'm already live. It's okay. It's, I'm already live. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Video. 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 <clears throat> so, uh, where did I stop? Where? What am I saying? That is why I don't want to be distracted. That is why I don't want to be distracted. Thank you, my great people, for joining me. Like I always say, of course, uh, our our brain and our minds are intact. Like I said, I am IPOB on that chain of command. Mazin Nandi Kano is the highest commander of this movement that we are. He is the highest authority. He is the director of Radio Biafra and Biafran Television, Biafran Community Radio. Mazin Nandi Kano is the one. But I always let our people understand this because it's just obvious that some people won't even understand what we are talking about. That on absence of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano, Mazi Shiki, Dozim is the one in charge. And believe you me, whatever this man said with his mouth stands. Anything that he authenticated, say, uh, this, we are going to take it. There is a memo that is going out around today. I will also look towards the memo. I will contact those people that they are in charge to know if it's the, if that a uh, authentic memo because I haven't called nobody yet. But there is a woman that called Madam Finance in I will keep on saying this. Don't listen to anybody until Mazikike Dozemu said it. Because we have head of directorate. The way the head of directorate is, this is also how the vice president is. All this why Dead Bugari was going to London Hospital, London Hospital, till he died in London Hospital. Who was in charge? It was Osiba and John. And there is nothing you can do about it. He is the second in command. But I don't know how some people will begin to see a woman that because you keep you are keeping our money that we contributed because the money is now in your disposal you are only one that going to and i'm going to uh talk to mazi collins there is a place that mazi collins made a mistake you know so you cannot just say because the money is in your disposal and you are the one that going to bring money and put in and take and sign and do everything that means that you are now the leader no this is not your money you never contributed nothing and some of you will be saying she have contributed a lot. No. If you can be receiving almost 4,000 something in a month or 4,000 euro in a month and you give us 30 euro, does you, is, is that mean that you're contributing? You are just a employee to IPOB. That is who you are. I don't lie. You know, I say things the way it is. Anybody that is collecting salary in this struggle, you are employee. There is nothing about it. Because if it's like that, I'm supposed to be receiving a salary today. But nobody pays me. Everything I'm doing is volunteer. And I don't care because I'm doing well in my own little way. I don't want to care about who pays or who don't pays. And nobody have got, done anything for me today apart from a woman. Apart from a woman from uh, Pennsylvania. I think Pennsylvania that get us one app. You know, it was app that we are using. She get us one app. Only that woman since I've been working. And she's a good woman. The same app that I told this uh, Abraham Ogunaya, let us get this app. Let us, because in this app, we are going to, you know, you know our people, they so much like new thing. We are going to decorate it. When we are pushing the message, it will look standard. The man turned it around and said that I want to begin to store 2, two euro from IPOB. Just come on me, want to be taking 2, two euro. A 2, two euro that people are donating once in a month. How many people are there? If you are 30 people donating 2 euro a month, how much is 2 two euro? 60 euro. So 60 euro now will make me, a, uh, a, 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 my life will be changed. Okay, it's okay. Uh, this is it. So uh, there is something I want to tell Mazi colleagues because that is where the mistakes come up. Of course, when Mazi Collins was doing all these things, he was doing it as a, somebody that he was doing it based on trust. This is it. He was doing this based on trust. Mazi Collins, he is the president of IPOB here in Germany. If anything happens to IPOB, he is the one that are going to hold and they, when they created this account 
that they have shut down today and they must tell us where our money is without stopping i will keep on voicing it because we are not going to stop at all Marzi collins we are allowing madam finance to take care of uh, because normal when you have a joint account which is something like uh, what they call it a, a group of people or like the way we are a group fighting for Biafran restoration because you are going to register as a company because that is where this company is coming from you have to register everything as a company because there is no how you can register organization as a freedom fighter in the world there's none you have to register this as a company and that is exactly what happened okay so when they are registering all this uh, company there must be three signatories but because of the trust and i want to tell some of you already now in dos in the leadership don't let this this issue repeat itself again don't let it repeat itself again trust nobody trust nobody you don't have to trust anybody everybody in this struggle is also a suspect i will say it but some of you won't understand what i'm saying because if it's not the trust that uh Collins gave to this woman like go there i don't care i don't care it's uh, what i know that i uh, my signatory to be there uh, because we are fighting for biafra uh, because of the way we think that we are doing something our own this is not our own you don't call it our own this is a public thing and i want our people to always keep this in your mind next time when you are involved in any signatory don't do because say that uh, it's for our own. Don't allow only one person to be doing that. Don't allow that person. Make sure you involved in everything that is going. That is the reason why today, Madame Finance are now seeing herself as only one. But in the right sense, it wasn't that way. It's supposed to be any money that are going to be pushed out from that that thing. Collins have to sign. His deputy have to sign. Then Nayana have to sign. But because of that trust, like, uh, 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 probably I know that uh, uh, Marzi Collins, I think, uh, I hope, and I be, uh, I, I'm standing to be corrected, I believe is Adan Nen Nayana is the one that recommend Collins to our leader. And when these things were going on by then, things were moving fine. He, they don't even know that that there will come a time that such a thing will happen that is why i'm telling the people that they are there now to be able to use their brain use your brain don't let this thing repeat itself again that they will put you and some people to be working together you will say because i trust the person let only the person be going there resigning taking the money you want to take it's okay i'm fine because no this thing will put you in trouble that is what exactly what that is exactly what is happening today now, Madame Finance have claimed that she is all at all. You see where the problem start, And I know that a lot of us that reason understand why it happens that way. It's because of trust. Marzi Collins trusted Madame Finance in a sense that such a thing can never happen. And none of us knew that they are going to kidnap our leader. So when he was leaving her to go there, uh, probably Madame Finance is signing three people's signature before he, she will withdraw money. You understand what I'm saying? She's signing three people's signature to withdraw the money, which not supposed to be. But I know it's a trust. I know it's a trust. But we should stop all this trust. It can never work. When they put you in your position, make sure you do the needful. Make sure you work according to your position. Don't say that uh, 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 I trust the woman. The woman can. No. You see, people can change human being can change anytime and today they have learned a lesson because i listened to that broadcast you see how they were lamenting saying no in normal sense of it in this is not normal this is the law It's law not only in germany everywhere in the world when you have a company that is not a limited you know you have to have a board of trustees those people that are going to sign not only one person but today you see what the, the mistake of Marzi Collins, because this is his mistake. And that mistake is not like he is a trust. The mistake comes on trust. 
That is why I'm urging you all, trust nobody. If they put you in your position, they tell you that you are going to be going to meeting to listen to people. When you are in a group of uh, people and you are going there for meeting, make sure whenever they call you, you will be there so that you can be able to listen and also contribute. When you are in any country, in IPOB, being you not in the in the real, I mean, in a, our our international account, even though if it's local, if you are signatory is there, make sure before they push the money, make sure you sign. That will give you that power. Tomorrow, that person cannot be able, because if Mars Collins was doing all this thing with the deputy, all this thing will not happen today. But it's because of trust. I want you people to always understand that. Good. Uh, now, let me go straight to my broadcast today. Let me go straight to my broadcast because uh, I want to show our people what the international community said about Biafran Restoration Project. We told them we are not going to pay nobody. But I thank you, Kwoki Kabiyama, today we have done our best. We have pushed this struggle to that level that the world must, they must talk about us. And they, also this rigging of election selection have begun also to show the world that um, it's not what the people think. And, uh, you know, during the time of Nigerian genocidal war against great people of Biafra, that they take souls over, we don't lie about it, over five million, you know, but the one they recorded, they will be telling three point something, you know, but we know, we know, because they want to cover up some things. Up to date, there is no any stones on those uh, that Nigeria massacred, I mean, I mean the genocide they committed against Biafran people, there is no stone to remember these people. At the same time, you are telling us uh, that we are one people. Now you understand what I'm saying. So, but now the world are beginning to see that all these things that we have been saying, there is nothing, nothing but the truth. Now I want you people to see what the international international community said about this. I mean the 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 the, the killings of Biafran from 1945. And they will start when they started killing Biafrans. They will tell you what happens in northern part of Nigeria. They kill over 300,000 uh, people. And they, they kill our, our senior officers. At the same time, they came down from all the way. And the uh, British people, uh, Russian people, we are helping them. Uh, the Egyptians are those people. They are flying the Nigerian jet because, uh, you see, uh, what really happened during that war, uh, during the genocidal war against a great people of Biafra that Nigeria committed, that today the war don't want to see it as a genocidal. Uh, the one thing about it, why we lost the war, of course we are not prepared. Uh, I will not lie about it, we are not prepared. But the one thing about it is like, Mazi, the internal, uh, our internal leader, the general, uh, people, people general was thinking that we are in safer side because they are maltreating us. Yes, the world have saw what they are doing to us. And they are, our people general was, we are thinking, because I believe this is his thinking, that if this war break out uh, within five to six days, the world will come and understand that they, they want us to be slave. But the world overlook it. At the same time, there is a war going on in Europe by then. So all this thing is something that covers all this thing up. Like, now they kidnap our leader, Mazen Namdekano. And you see Nigerian people, there is something about these people. You know, I don't lie about this. Uh, that is why sometimes you people will say, Fulani people has no brain. No, these people think also. And whenever they want to carry on this, the atrocity, they will make sure that something is happening in other countries. Just imagine when they kidnap Mazin Namdekano. The war in Russia and Ukraine starts. And Europe are focusing in this war going on in Ukraine, trying to stop it. Now, the Zuko Nigeria use that advantage to go and kidnap Maz because the Europeans and America, they must focus on this war in their land. 
The same thing happened in 1967. That is when the Second World War was happening. With all these things, they were prepared. British people will tell you when you will do this. So, exactly how come they went to go and kidnap mass in Lambicano. That is why you see the world are not focusing so much also on this Biafran restoration project. But now, the world are focusing. The world have begun to talk about this what the Biafran people are facing and now i'm going to show this video i'm going to show this video i'm going to show the video so you, have, you people will listen <clears throat> now let us go my people let us go and see this video please this is international community this is no more uh zuko nigeria africa and uh, she will also mention the the thing okay let us go No, I have to close this. Okay. Let me let me start from beginning. Former Nigerian President Buhari said, Nigeria's unity is settled and not negotiable. We shall not allow irresponsible elements to start trouble and when things get bad, they run away and saddle others with the responsibility of bringing back order, if necessary, with their blood. Every Nigerian has the right to live and pursue his business anywhere in Nigeria without let or hindrance. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pulse of Africa with me, Ananya Sharma. Let's begin. Pay attention, you will hear. We are getting there and nobody can ever stop us. We are getting there. Pay attention. Secessionist West African state that unilaterally declared its independence from Nigeria in May 1967. It constituted the former eastern region of Nigeria and was inhabited principally by Igbo or the Igbo people. However, Biafra ceased to exist as an independent state in January 1970. Nigeria gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1960. But like many other newly formed African nations, its borders did not align with ethnic, cultural, religious or political boundaries established prior. As a result, the northern region of the country, which is mainly composed of the indigenous Sokoto Caliphate, has a Muslim majority. In contrast, the southern population is predominantly Christian, primarily made up of indigenous Yoruba and Igbo states in the west and east respectively. After independence, Nigeria was demarcated primarily along ethnic lines with Hausa and Fulani being the majority in the north, Yoruba being the majority in the west and Igbo being the majority in the east. Ethnic tensions in Nigeria had been simmering since discussions of independence, but in the mid-20th century, ethnic and religious riots began to occur. In 1945, an ethnic riot flared up in the Jos region, during which Hausa Fulani people targeted the Igbo population, resulting in many deaths and injuries. This situation was so dire that the police and army units had to be brought in from Kaduna to restore order. The Jos riots claimed the lives of 300 Igbo people in 1945. A similar riot occurred in Kano in 1953. A decade later, in 1964, the western region was divided during a political crisis as Ladoke Akintola clashed with Mubakemi Awolobo. Reports of widespread fraud marred the legitimacy of elections. Many Westerners resented the political domination of the Northern People's Congress and violence erupted throughout the country, causing some to flee to the home. In the mid-1960s, Nigeria was characterized by economic and political stability as well as ethnic tension. The mostly Hausa North harbored resentment towards the more prosperous and educated Igbo minority, leading to violence in September 1966. Between 10,000 to 30,000 Igbo people were massacred in the northern region and approximately 1 million fled as refugees to the Igbo-dominated east. The eastern region then expelled the non-Igbos. Various organizations, including the Organization of African Unity and the Papacy, attempted to reconcile the warring factions. However, most countries continued to recognize Gowon's regime as the government of Nigeria. United Kingdom and the Soviet Union supplied arms to federal military government. The U.S. embargoed arms sales to both sides and the war created opportunities for influence peddling between the West and the East. The international sympathy for the plight of starving Biafran children 
brought airlifts of food and medicine from many countries. Ivory Coast, Gabon, Tanzania and Zambia recognized Biafra as an independent state and France sent weapons to Biafra. Altogether, France sent $30 million worth of material to Biafra and lent Ivory Coast President $3 million to aid Biafra officials. Details of French armed supplies remain classified till today. But the CIA file said that on 13 January 1970, as the war wound down, Mr. Morshaw Beaupre and Mr. Debray, the National Defence Minister, decided to remove stocks of French supplied arms and divide them to French bases at Douala and Abidjan. France resolved that there was no chance of supporting a Biafran guerrilla resistance. The Biafran leaders used the issue of malnutrition to gain political support overseas. But their hope at that time would be on their side or that external sympathy would result in a favourable resolution did not materialise. Stay tuned as in the coming episode we will further decode why France has kept its mouth shut on Biafra situation. Alright, alright my people. I hope every one of you have listened. This is international news. This is international news. And I hope every one of you listen to this news. You know, when we tell you people, time will come, they will talk about Biafran restoration. We are the children of Shuko Kikabiyama in heaven. And they, we believe that one day, someday, they will talk about it. And this uh, news will continue. And I will make sure that I will keep on following them. Whenever they bring out the news, we are going to also bring it to our people. Uh, you know, because uh, we have been telling our people all these things. And uh, now that the Europeans are begin and Asian people have begin to tell the world what really happens to Biafran people is also a plus for us. And all these things is what rigging of election selection caused in that contraption. Now I want to, there is some questions that I want to, I want some people to answer me um, because I, I want to uh, read a, a, an article here and I want to use this article to ask a Simon Eber a question. Like I said, I am not coming here to abuse anybody, but we have to begin to get things right. It is a time to begin to ask a question. And um, like I said, very soon, uh, the autopilot you see today, you will not see them no more because their work has ended. Why they are here is already off. And uh, you people haven't forgotten that they told us that um, they are going to give us Biafra. And now we are waiting. And uh, I believe that Simon Eber is still in Finland because... Uh, there is no how you will like to, you are going to declare Biafra. I don't know if they want to actualize or they want to restore our dignity that is already there. Um, but today you will see, see that Simon Eber is still in Finland. Uh, because there is no how you can declare a nation and still living in other, pe other person's land. I don't know if Simon Eber is now in Biafra land. And uh, I hope they have already defended all, defend all our territory. And I hope that their warships are, are standby and their, uh, you know, their jets are flying on the air. Because that is what we are talking about. I want you people to know why Simon Eber was uh, projecting no see, uh, sit at home to force our people to sit at home. Uh, he was thinking that uh, uh, when they sit at home and Tinubu will get the whole vote, like I said from the beginning, if our people sit at home, in what Simon ever said, uh, Tinubu won't have, I mean, uh, Mazu Obi, Obi, my brother, can't even have that chance to say that he wants to go to court. It's because that we lifted it. Now they see there is no how they can be able to manipulate it. That is why they give all of them the same state, the one in the same state, 
even though that is the reason why they allow OB to won in Lagos. You see, all these things is a game. That is where they want to think that they want to bring the minds of people down. If OB can win in Lagos, and then they are going to forget about it, and OB also win one in federal capital. This is a game. This is a game. You understand? And you know that uh, Lagos and uh, federal capital, they don't have more people than other people like Kaduna, all this casting at them. You know, where they know that they, wear, they have more people and people from Chad can easily move in. Sudan can easily move in. Uh, Somalia, can, all these people can easily move in and uh, help them vote. We saw all the young 10 years old kids are voting. Minor, they are voting. So, but my question now, I want to read this out to ask a to ask Simon Eba question. And we have seen everything playing. But now I'm going to read it out. And it's going to be a question. Everything has been coming out from the auto criminals. Has been wrong strategy and working approaching to achieve Biafra. Let me ask. What did sit now? I start with number one. This is the first article. And I want you all to pay attention. This is the question that I want to ask. And I would like people, if you want to call, I will open my line to, 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 to tell you that I want you to come and answer all the, and I'm going to give also the autopilotists because we know very soon you will see them no more. The way you don't see no more, you do, you will see these people no more. Now pay attention and I want you to listen very attentively. This is the question that I want to ask Simon. And I would like him to answer me. Or those people that they, they are heroes, I would like them to answer me. Because I want to know. Now, what did sit at home for one year achieved towards getting Mazen Nandekano from detention? Like I said, all this one year sit at home, that the leadership of IPOB see what is going on they, they, they kidnap our leader in Kenya. I'm going to be taking it one after the other. Any, anyone that I, I read out, I will explain it. Our leader was kidnapped in Kenya. And the, as Kingsley as the Bureau told us that our leader was on the mountain praying. You understand? And the, as time goes on, after eight days, we saw our leader in national television. We saw him, but we are not 100% that is him. Because they covered our leader with, uh, you know, something on his face and they tie his leg and also his hand. And they were so facing all these things, we are hearing the rumor. We call it rumor. That is what we call it. Because you can never identify somebody behind the curtain. Mazin Namdekan is like somebody behind the curtain because they covered his face. We don't even know if he's still alive. So the, the leadership of this struggle went to upper chamber to be able to know if it's Mazen Namdekano, and they come up with what they call sit at home. So that, and when they were saying sit at home, is to push for Mazen Namdekano to come to court. Because the first time they brought Mazen Namdekano to court, second time they did not. And we don't know if it's Mazen Namdekano. And we were asking, is a bureau? He said that when you do, he's still on the mountain praying. So we are seeing double people now. So after they succeeded by sitting at home, they brought our leader to court. Isn't it? And the same time where they were saying about this sit at home, the same King Slayers, the Bureau said that our leader, our people have to do a uh, Neko. Like our leader, our leader, Neko is better than our leader's life or health. You know, all these things. Let me go to what I'm asking Simon. So, all this one year now that Simon ever said that, uh, no, we are, not, we are not going to stop sit at home. Now, since all this one year that they were sitting at home, can somebody tell me what they have achieved? I want to know, but for me, it's nothing. Now, let me go to the second one. What has autopilot attacking and killing Biafrans, the photos of the, of the seat at home, achieved towards Biafran uh, uh, realization, uh, restoration, restoration, real, uh, realization, realization, I mean to say, realization. Let me take it up again. What has autopilot attacking and killing Biafran's defaulters of the seat at home achieved towards realization? 
Can somebody tell me? By killing of our people, you know, they set up some seat at home that they, they took a life of a woman with pregnant. And other, market, other markets, they burn down. And some people, they kill. Can somebody tell me all these things they did? What have they achieved in realization of Biafra? When you look at it today, just nothing. Only just talking on social media, putting our people in a state of imagination, buying some guns and bullets to people to go and kill their own people. Today, there is no achievement. Let me go to the number third. What has the no election in Biafra land achieved towards Biafran realization? That is another question. Simon Epa came and said, no election in Biafra land. Can somebody tell me no election in Biafra land? What this thing have contributed towards this struggle that we all? Realization of Biafra. Can somebody tell me? Now their sit at home is over, isn't it? Can you tell me one thing that these people have achieved in all these things that I said now? And uh, all these strategies deployed so far from the beginning till now has not attempted in any way towards Biafran realization. So what is the purpose of all this nonsense making everywhere for? You know, like what I said, you know that all this thing that I read out now, Simon Eba would sit at home, no achievement. Killing of our people, no achievement. Election in Biafra, no achievement. Can somebody tell me why are they coming and, uh, you know, saying all manners of things? You know, try, I don't even understand. Can somebody tell me what these people have achieved? Up to date. Only just to say they are and be killing their own people. Instead of uh, conducting proper consultation on the proper procedure for achieving self-determination, they were busy aiding the enemies in strutting Biafrans and destroying Biafra land for a tangible reason. Let me take it again. Instead of conducting proper consultation on the proper procedure for achieving self-determination and follow it up as a blueprint they are busy aiding the enemies in struggling Biafrans and destroying Biafra land for no tangible reason. That is what they are doing. Simon Eber has no blueprint. They just want to destroy what we are doing. And they, everybody can see it today with your Koro Koro. So in conclusion, in, in, on all these things that I just read out now, the criminal and froster in Finland known as Simon Eber and his auto criminals and auto harlots only succeeded in creating a bleed of criminals gangs who specialized in following by snatching of a cars, bashing them part by part and selling them, kidnapping our people and collecting ransom, killing our people, harvesting their organ, raping underage girls and mothers in communities and environs where they have their criminal camps. In various places, they have their criminal camps. That is exactly what these people are doing. And now, now I want to, and I hope every one of you understand this question that I asked it be my Finland uh, because uh, we have gotten to that time to begin to ask a question we don't I don't you see the fight is over because they have paid woefully they fight it over or person Joe tell the youths to go and take their mandate by force can they be able to do it is it possible I don't know I don't know I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Mazi. I know, I know, Mazi. 
Mas, I know, I know, I know. But I'm already live. It's okay, it's okay, Mas. No, no, no. Okay, fine, we are just on Panoya now. I'm on live for almost uh, going to one hour now. Furthermore, it's okay, Mas. We talk later, we talk later. This is it, this is it. Uh, I, like I said, I supposed to come with a brother, but uh, you see, I don't know, um, I don't know his plan. And uh, he have already explained to me the reason why. But Madam Finance is there, paying some people. People that they are working, she don't care. That is why I keep on saying this. This time around, they will know. This time around, we are not going to stop. And uh, before I proceed, I want to play a video of Pyon Jong Hong. And believe you me, on that video of Pyon Jong Hong, I, I stand with that. I agree with that. And that is the solution. Because I don't want to be, you know, blind and begin to say things I don't know. That is why I said and I accepted. And uh, what Master Prophet said, which is Pyon Jong Hong, unfortunate in law, said, I agree with him. And I'm going to play his video. So that every one of us will listen to it. And I know that Madam Finance is listening. I know that Ezebiro is listening. I know Kenon Biafalan, this is Miabo fine. Madam Mom, how beautiful or how handsome he is. Eja, we are fine boy. I don't even understand. There is no structure. Bura for dojo everywhere. In Akbar on your fine boy. This guy come to Europe for Gabatomia. I'm telling you the truth. I don't lie. Even though sometimes if, if you don't do it, it's not fine, fine, or fine, fine, get corner, fine. I don't care about that. But I want you people to listen to Pyon Jong Hong, what he said. And I want you people to push that because from there we are going to get the truth. I don't want to be only taking the truth from the leadership. Let me also get the truth from Madam Finance. That is why I said that I agree with. Pyon Jong Hong. And we are going to listen to what he said. And I want our people to push it. I want all of you to tell Madam Finance that he should do this that Pyon Jong Hong said. He should do it. He should do it. Let me take my second phone. He should do it. He should do it. And that is the best thing because you know, I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this. And now, at the end, I will be a blind person. I don't like that. I always stand with the truth. And uh, we also saw we had Pyon Jong Hong saying that uh, So all these things that we are seeing that Pyon Jong Hong went to Biafra land or Brene Hogan, AJ Wogo. Do you think Nige Wunibonya care of water? There is nothing you can do. Like I said, I believe in a recantation or something like that. And even now, well, well, there is nothing you can do about me. If you like, go anywhere. As far as I never stole from person, as far as I never did any wrong to any Biafran people or anybody towards this Biafran restoration project, and you really know that as a bureau called a criminal police side to me, and the one and all Obunaya called police for me, the same people that are doing this, and when all these things were happening, none of them, like I said, Madam Finance, we are in the same meeting. We are attending the same meeting. Because of their primitive and dark ages, they can't even understand what is media. I have told you people this time with that number that Madam Finance don't know what is media. She knows nothing. Only what she knows is only come. <clears throat> these people have paid. These people never paid. This woman don't know the power of media. We were together in the same meeting. She never came for one day and tell me, Bia Franchard, listen, this is how this thing is happening. Give me the paperwork. Let me also see and be able to get convinced. And then if I can be able to be in your part. But they won't do it because they are daft in school. They don't even understand. 
what is media they don't know that we have taken over media they don't know that when we speak the world listen to it more than them that is the reason why you see when you are dealing with a media man you must always reason and think twice before you say something because anything you said when i come on media or in the media i will expose you like i always tell my people i have find myself a landing i have a platform people listening to us our video on the, in youtube getting no lesser than three million people every month just use your brain and think about that that means that everything i say people listen to me so why should you think that i'm nobody why do you know people that have already wanted to talk to me and i rejected that is for by the way okay but by the way anyways let me bring what i'm saying before this battery will go off let me put it small at least will give me some things before I bring the video of Pyon John Horn. Uh, and uh, I uh, really agree with him. I agree with him, believe you me. Ever time me phone you. Why this thing is not charging? Ever time me phone you. I agree with him. Tell you people should call. <coughs> you people should tell John Pyon John Horn. I agree with him. This is only. <coughs> <clears throat> this is only thing that I have saw, or I believe that Pyon Johan is making sense since I knew this man. Since I knew this man, this is only sense. I want my please, I want you people to give me just a little time. Let me this phone charge a little bit at least. Let me get to 10. It will be fast now. This is only broadcast of Pyon Johan that I ever agree and he makes sense. Believe you me, this man make a real sense on this. That is why you see, we don't shy away from reality. We always face reality. And now, I want you people to see the Pyon John Horn, the Pyon John Horn video. Let us see <clears throat> the Pyon John Horn. If not, if not for Simon, and nobody will be talking about Biafran today. Nah, uh, but I have you, have you. But you saw what? Now nah, let me read it again before this phone charge a little bit. The, you see, somebody just came. Now, nah, please, I want this guy. If this guy, his name is what? What is his name? Before I delete you, let me see him again. Uh, his name is uh, Dennis. Please, you call yourself Dennis, and uh, you are putting Mars in Nam the Kano, Mars in Nam the Kano letters picture which is the picture of the seed that came from uh, so-called Mazen Namdekano siblings and this uh, uh what is his name uh, they are telling us that Mazen Namdekano is living fine in DSS dungeon but I want you people that Mazen Namdekano health is worsening every single day when we came out and said Mazen Shina Samoru that is why you see don't just come out there and begin to say what you don't know. I saw some people saying that Mazin Namikano fails down and they rush him to hospital. We should stop all those nonsense. We should stop all those, you know, putting our people in a state of imagination. A lot of people can die because of that. A lot of people died when Ezebiro told our people that Onyendu was on the mountain praying. Why Mazin Namikano is a hand of enemy? We don't see him for complete aid. A lot of people died. But they are there now, jumping around, enjoying. They don't even care. If you ask them now, they will tell you that we are fighting. Go to their page now, Kana or Power, Power something. They will be on platform. They will have only one people, one person. I mean to say, highest five people. And when I speak, they don't even know how 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 Bia Franchard managed to get to this level. He is. I am operating not lesser than, I will tell you the truth, I am operating not lesser than seven pages. They are not lesser than 200 and something thousand followers. I am the Biafran child. And they are general. Up to seven pages, not lesser than 230 something followers. That is what I control. We are not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about Facebook. We are not talking about Instagram. I'm talking about Facebook. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about Facebook. Now you understand. 
So, and why the reason why we ended up in that 200 and something followers is because of Facebook. We're supposed to be today almost 1 million following us because we are in a right track of Biafran Restoration Project. I have told my people to come back. Come and join us. We are going to accept you. We are not going to push you out. You are our brother. Like I said, Peter Obi is my brother. I will never deny him. But he has tried. I hope that Peter Obi will make sense. He will reason. He will reason. He will reason. I also gave Peter Obi an advice from the beginning. Let this thing die. Come back and be with your own people. All this money you see that our representatives have, we can use it to fight for our freedom. And we also can negotiate after you help us finish. How much do you want? We'll pay you back now. You don't know. A day barren of all you that will push a day after the affair restored. We can be able to pay you all your money back. We can negotiate on that. So you don't know before. And that is the reason why they can never give Obi president because they think that Obi will give you Biafra. They don't know that Obi is, is, a, is a con one Nigeria. Obi is a real con one Nigeria. It's not going to do anything. Is Mazen Nankan released now? I'm asking uh, Anidon, my brother. I'm asking Anidon, my brother. Have they released Mazen Nankan? Is Pete Obi there now? The answer is no. I don't want to or Osno Afia about the I don't want to be making these people to be relevant, but I have to call their name so that they will know that I'm seeing everything. Of course, I want some people to understand what I'm saying. I saw them in Dubai. Now, They were making video. No, if we don't go to Obi, Mazin Nandekan will remain there. I want to ask them, is Obi there now? Who is going to release Mazin Nandekan now? That is why you see our people don't reason. Now, now, who is talking, who is saying this? I don't want to delete anybody. I don't want to delete anybody. But if you, who let this dog out from the shed? Okay, good. Um, I think you are going to go and meet your, your ancestors. Now, let me send you to your ancestors. You know, I have, I have said it. This time around, I'm coming to camp. I don't want to begin to run around the bush or be saying things that because most of the time people always tell me uh, does it mean that you can't speak to our people in a calm way i said of course i can because election have come and gone this is the time that i have to begin to speak to our people in a manner that they will understand where their problem is from your problem is that Nigeria can never work. Nigeria is no man's land. And I keep on saying this to our people. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody tell you that Lagos is no man's land. I keep on saying this to our people. Of course, when this contraption was amalgamated and they have their independence in 1960, of course, Lagos was the first capital, and they built a lot of things there. But as it is today, all of us, even cockroach, understand that we are not one people. So why should you keep on saying that Lagos is no man's land? Can you tell a Yoruba man that Onisha is no man's land? You know, I'm just trying to educate our people. I know there are some things that our people will not like me to say, because we face reality. We say things the way it is. Like as I said about also the technology and the civilization. Our people are seeing technology as a civilization. Why this thing is a two different thing. Being you having a latest car that was built in America today by a white man and you have it in Nigeria and you are the first person to drive the car, even though in the whole world, that does not make you and a civilized place. You are not. Go to the, your dictionary or go to Wikipedia, they will tell you Africa is a third world country. Do you know the reason why? There is no law. Things don't move the way it's supposed to move. The, somebody like Tinubu that an uh, Austrian newspaper said that he's a drug dealer can become your president. That is what they call corruption. And when you are talking about civilization, civilization is far away from corruption. 
We know that corruption is everywhere, but there's way they are, they are going to put it that you won't know. But in Nigeria, it's koro koro. You see the election koro koro. Let me bring the master profit. I have gotten to yes, yes. I have twenty five now. Let us listen to master profit. You know, I told you people that something he said that I agree with him. I really agree with him. I do agree with him, and that is the solution. Madam Finance, are you listening to what I'm saying? Now let us listen to. This man. Pay attention very well. You pay attention. You listen. See him here. This is Pion Johan. Unfortunate in law. They are paying on their back. That money is not coming again. And I have told my people any account that Madam Finance gave to you, tell you to pay money, don't pay shishi to any, any place. Don't pay any shishi. I am the Biafran franchise. I will say it. And nothing you can do about it i did not kill anybody you impose things to us and i will tell our people they shouldn't listen to you madame finance is nobody and nobody should listen to her and i always tell them to cut my video and keep it i don't care now you understand what i'm saying you think that uh, oh my god let us listen to pion johan He's talking about my finance. Bring it out. Bring it out. Yes. 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 Finally. I hope you people listen now. I hope you people listen. What did Master Prophet said? Master Prophet, he said that Madame Finance and uh, Ezebiro, they have a lot of evidences to show that all this thing that we are saying is a lie. And Master Prophet said, you shouldn't keep it. Why are you keeping it in Mazen and the kind of comes? Why can't you begin to bring all those things out? Begin to distribute it. Begin to paste it. Let us also see those, your evidences. Like for instance, now we are saying that Madame Finance is the one that closed the account in Germany. That is what I'm standing and there is nothing I can do till otherwise. And Master Prophet said that this account, and uh, we heard what uh, Collins, the president of IPOB here in Germany, which is our national coordinator, we heard what he said. He is not the one that closed the account. He gave us every steps. How many months they give Madame Finance to reply back to them and Mazi Collins also told us that there is some certain money because yes, as you are here in Germany, I don't believe that uh, Madame Finance has a job. She don't have a job. And whenever you are, people are putting money and you are taking money from the bank, believe you me, you must respond to bank. That money, where is it coming from? Where are you taking this money from? That is why you see today, some of people today, if you are in job center, it's very, very hard for a person to push money to your account because they will ask you. You say you don't have a job. But how did you take, how, where did you find this money? Who gave you this money? So that is by the way. So what I'm saying now is this. We have listened to uh, our brother, Marcy Collins, what he said that really happened to that account. That Madam Finance knew this account for over three months. She have received the letter that they are going to close the account. And Madam Finance was removing money because there is the amount of money you can remove from the bank. They will begin to ask you a question. Even though your own money, there is a day that I went to bank to withdraw 5K. They were asking me, my money is my money. 
But they are telling me, what are you doing with this money? You have now begin to explain. You have to explain. You It's your money, but you must. It's not a like Nigeria that will go, because they tell you how many money you can take in a day. Now you want to take more. Because they want to protect you. They want to protect you. In a sense that we don't know maybe, that is why sometimes as money will push, they will tell you, what are you doing with this money? Because they want to protect your money. Not for your money to go in the hand of Ndenza. I'm telling you the truth. So, Madam Finance have removed money in that account almost four times. That is not, is above the limitation. Above what she's supposed to take. She took it. And when you are beginning to take such a thing, it will be affecting the, the people and the bank because they will be saying, how come? Why are you removing all this money? We can't. We can't do this. It's like a fraud. This is it. And now Master Prophet have came out and said that all these things that we have been saying and Master Collins is saying and the leadership is lying. Now I'm telling Madam Finance that they should release all their assets. Everything they have, they should release it. I am telling them they should release it now. I am the Biafran child in Wachineke. My number is everywhere. They can push it to me. I will cross-check it. If the Marzi Collins is lying, I will also come here to say it. Because we have gotten to that level that we can be able to cross-check things. I want her to bring all those proofs. Because according to Master Prophet, he said that they have proof that Marzi Collins want to obtain a credit card. They have to bring it. And the uh, Marzi and Wanda and Finance said that they are the people that closed the account. I want to ask Madam Finance, did you receive any message? Or they just closed the account because they can't just close. We are living in Western world, my people. We are in Western world. It's not in Africa. That is why they took me to criminal police. We went there, everything was settled because they know that what I'm saying is truth. Because this man was, in a sense, he was, he was denying me. As the bureau was denying that he don't even know who I am. But a man that I have brought to my program, a man that I have spoken to, a man that I have been in Bel in uh, in uh, in what they call it in um, Belgium with with only do a man that I have snap picture with together in uh, Berlin is now denying that he don't even know who I am. I never spoke with him before. He was saying that he find my number somewhere. It's a bureau that we always speak lesser than once in a week when all this thing happens. That he was pushing me to do this was denying me. So, this is it. In a, you see, Europe is a place that when you speak, they will understand because there is nothing like poverty. There is nothing like hunger for you to begin to say uh, uh, the, 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 the prosecutor or the interrogator is, a, is hunger, is hungry. Or he, he, he say, he don't have money, let me pay him so that you will... No, it's not like that. So, I want to tell you people what the international said about um about uh, what they call it about um the rigging of election because they have carried cnn carry it now i will am i lying you will see it now cnn carry uh carry it uh let us see it let us see what cnn said see ob ob is crying ob is crying ob is crying ob sorry Obi is crying. Obi is crying. He's crying, you see him. Obi is crying. Obi, it's not your fault. You don't need to cry. We told you that Nigeria can never walk. We told Obi, we told him, see, he's my brother. We told him, come out, Obi. He can, it's not going to walk. It's not going to walk. It's not going to walk. Obi is crying. Listen to it. Obi is crying. Obi is crying. Obi is crying. Old man is crying. Old man is crying. Old man is crying. Obi, don't cry. Don't cry. This is what you see in a country that baboons and monkeys are operating. That is what you see. You understand? You don't need to cry. With this cry you see, Obi is crying. We have cried this cry for years. We have cried for over seven years because that is when we understand. After they deceived our 
people generally dream of the more you go to, to come and join politics. The same time, they read it that even though the Anambra that Dean Udumi Gujuku came from, he did not win the election. <laughs> that is why we know say these people, they are they are they are evil. Let us see so this man. Lukani, she is a popular television broadcaster and filmmaker, and she joins us now for Lagos. And thanks so much for, for joining us on what we can see has been a tumultuous um, couple of days in Nigeria. You know, what were you hoping from CNN? The oh, this is and, and CNN. What do you think are they see? Ended up with you see? Her? We saw a glimpse really there of the chaos, of the confusion, and the fact that things are still so tense. Yeah, so I think when it comes to what were we hoping, uh, you know, INEC, the body that is conducting the elections, passed an electoral act in 2022. And pretty much the electoral act said that the results were going to be transmitted on their platform. So it was going to be an electronic transmission. Once the votes were done, being correlated and counted at the polling units, right after then, they had a device that would allow them to capture the uh, results from the polling unit and it was going to be transmitted and uploaded directly onto a platform that every single Nigerian would have the opportunity to be able to see the results. That did not happen. Thank you. You saw situations where uh, INEC officials, the people who were conducting the elections at the polling units, refused to upload the results. You saw situations where they said that they didn't have the ability to, that the device was slow. And even more so, the actual portal that has the results, up to now, up to 50% of the polling units' results have not been uploaded. So the question I think all of us are asking is, at the coalition center that's happening right now in the counting in Abuja, what are you guys counting? Like, what results are you showing us? Number two, a lot of the results that are being uploaded onto the database do not compare with the results that people took pictures of I'm on their phone. You I, I think what people have to understand is that Nigerians didn't just vote and leave. They stayed at their polling units till 1, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and counted those results with the INEC officials. So we all have proof of what actually happened at our polling units, and we have pictures of it, and we're seeing that it's not the same thing that they're telling us at the polling center, uh, correlation center in Abuja. It, 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 it feels like it's just basically they're lying to us, right to our faces, and there seems to be no responsibility for that. Um, you know, this election is it's not just important, it is make or break for Nigeria. I can hear the emotion, obviously, and as you point out, this was supposed to be technology that was supposed to make things more transparent, not less so. I, I take your point. People are posting these results and the discrepancies all over social media. I've seen them for myself. Now, to give an example, where you are, you voiced particular concern about Lagos. You know, wh why? What did you see there that told you we're being lied to? Let us, uh, we are, I'm going to stop it here. You know why I'm saying I'm saying this to you all. I even though I hope you people heard when the woman said selection, you know, and um, this is it. Um, I'm just trying to show you people this video from CNN, uh, but it's not going to change anything. Uh, these people are media room. Uh, just imagine BBC. Is in our land, they are killing and maiming of our people. Have they said anything about our people? The answer is no. But they run so fast and make documentary about IPOB activities and laying allegations on us. And you will be thinking that this woman now in CNN, after they finish this news, you think that something will be changed. No, nothing will change. This is just, I'm just bringing this to you people to understand that the world are watching, but they are not going to do anything. In Austria, they told you that the, the drug baron is now the president of 213 million people. Or, yes, 213 million people, what they call it. A thousand people, something like that. How many, how many they are. So, this is what we are seeing on a daily basis. So I want you people to understand that the world have saw it, but there is nothing that can happen. You see, you know, I want you people to see this. That's something I want to show you people. 
This is only brother, only brother that have come out. He, he is a, a Nollywood actor. This is only man that I rest. I just love the way he analyzes this voting and who Mazen Namdekano is. Other people that have said all lot of things from their mouth, they never trying to, you know, praise IPOB. They never trying to say that we are right. They will tell you that Mazen Namdekano is right, oh, Mazen Namdekano is right. But you have forgotten that Mazen Namdekano was in the he is in the SL dungeon. But we have been saying this. Telling you there is no road. I have told Obi, my brother Obi, clean your eyes. All this water, stop crying. You are a man. You don't have to cry. Don't cry. What you have to do is this. Go to the drawing board. Come back to your people. Ask them what can we do to be able to restore Biafra. All this Ohane Zendi would have said before that if Obi or Igbo man did not become a president, they will now know that they are not part of uh, uh, Nigeria. Now, all these things that they have said have come to pass. Obi is not there. They have rigged it. And I'm telling you people, like I said, I'm not going to abuse anybody, but I want you people to go back now and think about the future of your kids, your children. Because most of you, have grown old. Most of you, your age is over to, uh, 80 years, 70 years. I want you now to begin to think about the future of your kids. What are you going to do? Are you going to still be waiting for the next four years and begin to say, if a Biafra man did not come in that position, you are not going, and they will keep on doing this to you. Is it what you are telling me? Now it have come in Korup. It's obvious that nobody can doubt it. That we are not one people. Even CNN carried it and tell you that they rigged the election. But I'm not telling you that these people are coming to help you. They are not coming to help you at all. They are just making money from their news. They can never tell Nigeria what to do. That is something that, you know, when we are calling international community sometimes, I will post something. I attack international community. Some people will be telling me, uh, uh, this international community you are calling, is it for them to come and help you? Are you want to go in second slavery? No. What we are doing is that, uh, that is adage in our place said, that is what we are doing. We are just trying to let the world understand that we are not the problem because we know that this freedom, we are going to take it by ourselves. No international community will come and help you. But we are just trying to let them know what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. We are not waiting for anybody to come and fight. The day we begin, the day we will, with all this awareness that we are creating, the day that our people will come as one people, with a one accord, believe you me, we will go Biafra at just one day. This is it. And when you start it, the international community will not say anything because they know that you have already, you know, told the world your problem and the root of your problem. Now, I want you people to see this, our brother, only a brother, I call them brother. Or some of our brothers house in Africa, the Igbe Park, on our Bagale comedy. This is only brother that spokes. I said yes. This is the kind of people we want. And as guy finished talking, he told you that he's going back. We have to go back and start, and we have to do something. Let us listen to this, our brother. So good afternoon, everybody. Because I want to say something very, very important. Thank you. Yes, because you just blame Yes. I you. You see, just like as if in Abu, the only issue I have with my brothers, because I could remember during the time of gubernatorial election, the seat at home was lifted. It's just 12 vote to win. Because if not, you can't reach the number of ABC. 
So everybody had that same belief that these people will not repeat this thing again. And that these have. people will not behave the way they behaved today. What would you have? So as for me, as for me, Okara I knew that it will be no believe that they are at the whole southeast. Okay. Whose name and name Ome? Oh Even man and Lagos one year. Oh so man. now they denied it to be yes. his mandate. It's very obvious. obvious. So we we'll go to another plan. What is the plan? So all men should fall back to their base. Thank you. So I don't like it when we keep uh, insulting, we keep blaming. Instead of me to blame any man, I blame myself. Thank you. Instead of me to blame any man, I blame myself for being a citizen of this country. Thank you. Yes, because it's very, very obvious we don't have a country. It's very, very obvious that they hate their citizens. It's very, very obvious that nothing, I repeat, nothing will work again in this country. So this is the, la the final poster. Let's take this as the final poster. So open any this election, people will agree, even APC agree, Jamie's in the southeast. Open any after this election. If you had a win, win, war for my take it, go get to the court. show you I show you people this video of our brother his name is uh, bro Paul so no no this is not a, a name I don't really know his name uh, you see all the whole people that have been seen on social media plus Ndineme skip this is only brother that I confirm that this man is a real son of the soil. He don't want to blame anybody. It's now to blame himself by not listening to what we are say, what we have said about the election. He said it. If we follow what Irima said, the court that Obi is going today, Obi cannot even smell five states. But we lifted it because we want to, you know, we don't want to disturb our people. We want them to blame themselves. And up to date, only this brother have ever came out and begin to blame himself. That we have to go back. My brother, Anna Wanyidon, that I called, he never come out and say what this man said. And the self Anyidon is one of those people that we are saying that if Obi is not there, Mazen Namkan is not going to be free. He never came out now and urged their own people. Now we have understand what is behind the Pawan Taba, that this country is not going to work. They are still there, waiting for another four years. I will show you people, one comedian, they call Macaroni, called my bro, is he Macaroni? Or, I don't know what is his name. The man now, listen, I don't know why these people cannot reason. They, 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 they selected Tinubu as a president and it was in Korokoro that it it is a rigged election. But this man now is telling you, you should forget about that one. That another governorship election is coming. Now he's still warning police and INEC that they, this one that have come and go, we, they have to change. Just imagine the stupidity of black people. You are now, they have already rigged the one. You are telling them the one is coming in next 
that we should organize ourselves. But they are telling you that it's only INEC can announce results. Now he's still telling you that this one have come and gone. Uh, let us not fight our people. Let us focus in the next one that is coming. Then I ask myself, are you sure that these people are reasoning? Are you sure there is a sense in these people at all? Are you sure that black people reason? Now, let me bring this video. I don't know what they call his name. You people will see it. His name is, I don't know. Yeah, Macaroni. His name is Macaroni. Well, I want you people to listen. Greatest Nigeria youth. Pay attention. Smile now. I beg, I beg. Smile. What's it? Because we have a lot to smile about and I'll tell you some of them. Tell them. Never again. Never in again. Nigeria. Will anyone undermine the influence of the Nigerian youths? Mm. Because never again in this country yes. will anyone underestimate the power that the young people have. That is what happened. The power that the people have was hugely underestimated, all in the name of the structure this somewhere, all in the name of, oh, now some people will get that power. No. If there's anything. This time has taught us it is that the power belongs to you and it belongs to me, it belongs to us. The power belongs to the people. Yeah, thank Nigerian you. youths have come out and we have demystified their structure. We have started what we cannot finish. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we you. must finish it. Nigerian youth, you have started something greater than even you yourselves. Mm -hmm. Something that can deliver us. You will think that this guy, you think that this guy has sense. He has no sense. Please, don't pay attention. Let's wait, wait we hear. Oh, yes. Because I know a lot of people are, while some other people are, are happy. That is very fine. That is the beauty of democracy. I've said the times without number that everybody has the right to support whoever it is that they want to support. But we are gradually getting to a place, we are gradually getting to the time where only the sheer will of the people will prevail. So please, I want to beg you calm down. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Now that lose hope they want. So that you go there, you go just say, oh, nothing can ever work. No, it don't work. If nothing can ever work, this momentum where we even gather, it no go possible. Oh, yes. Uh -uh. When the election, they hurt. One politician, he come, he say, eh, who are the youths? They can vote whoever it is that they want to vote for now. And the youths came out, and they did vote. And what happened? No, no, not only the youths, the people came out. And everybody what came out. Just pay attention. You think but that this guy is dead, bro? We can see. We all can see Just that the youths have that power. That we young people have that power. We get the numbers now. Come on. We get the numbers. So it is that unity that we must keep. Okay. I beg. I beg. They are trying to divide us. It's too much. Oh, you strike. Where we say normally before before election, all of us they live in peace, we they live in harmony. We they do our things, buy from my evil brother, um, um, patronize my Aosa sister. Play with one another, marry one another, talk to one another, do business with one another. Only during election they try to remind you that you are not you are not from the same place. They remind you you are not from the same place, but they want to rule you together. They are not saying go this way, go that way, go this way. You they think that this guy is making sense? But still, they sense. want to have control of everything. It's not making sense. But pay attention. So please don't let them don't let them divide us. Please, I beg you. Anybody that is telling you now, maybe as a Yoruba man that is telling you, go and attack your evil brother outside. Oh, election on. Oh, we want to show some people pepper. Or oh, my evil brother brothers, they are telling you go and attack the Yoruba somewhere, Aousa, anywhere, any other ethnic group in the country, and they are telling you to divide yourself, go and be fighting one another. Please don't. Even any of the politicians that is aggrieved now, maybe you want to go cut, or you know way. At the end of the day, he no go come out to join you, go break the scene also. Or to go kill another person. No politician will send their children to go and cause chaos in a state where they live in. You know? No. Don't let anybody, nobody should cause war among and, us. And they continue where and what? Nobody is not now. So because some people are making some kind of statements, saying some things, trying to stoke up ethnic hate. By God, they want us to start fighting ourselves so that they can say, oh, you see Anna, they don't even no. Now is the time to be united. He have already tell you because to forget. He is telling you to forget. Our small, yes, even yes, the small yes, unity, yes. we not we not gather fully. But the small one, when we try gather, you see what you do. 
So please do not be discouraged. Okay. We have we have started this journey. Uh -huh. And together we must build the momentum. Please, a lot of demoralizing messages here and there. No. To be honest, I know how some people must feel, but it is democracy. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we know we are not happy with the way I next conducted elections in some certain areas. That's the truth. Nobody can deny. But the president elect has been announced. Oh yes, why yes. not? Okay, wait now. Any aggrieved candidate will go to court. Don't let anybody use you. The Nigeria youths must remain as one. Forget that. He was telling you that you Nigeria youths must again. remain as one. Please, I beg you. We have started something bigger than every one of us. Okay. Everyone, and they see now the power of the youths. They see now the power of the internet. And now they said they were, it was only four people tweeting in a room. See four people tweeting. See the result of four people tweeting in a room now. Oh, they said no structure. They don't even have Senate. No, no federal uh, rep. Nothing. They should be some of some people don't come out there for that same Senate. That same federal rep. What we say that we. So that is the only thing I want you to take out of this is that you are the structure. The people now anything when they you hear about structure now the people they bear structure. So please, I beg you, please let us stay as one. Now is the time to even unite. Now is the time to have one voice together. Do not die for politicians. Don't let any politician use you as a tool. That is all. They are friends. We know they are friends. The youth can have their choice, or the majority of people can have their choice, but politicians will be politicians. And while we are trying to build trust for politicians, we must remain united. Because only then can we say, oh, now we bring you in, you know, oh yeah, you know, do it, get out. You see what he said. Only when they see that we are united, that is when we can be making decisions like that. So they know. Then they too, they will sit up. They say, ah, if we not do well, no, these people will chase us. Home. So These people please, are sitting there. Please, I beg you. Yeah. We have been in one or two meetings. And please, again, very important to say that neither me nor my brother Faust or any other. Um, celebrity or any other, I don't know, some others can claim leadership. I'm, we are not, we, are, we have never claimed leadership. We are youths like yourself who just want the growth and development of our country, Nigeria. And we have been in some meetings. Gubernatorial elections is coming up. Listen. And I know some of my, my dear youths will say, why should we come out again to vote? Look at what they have done. Some people are angry about results. Let aggrieved candidates take their cases to court. Let the youths remain focused. It is a long-term goal. And yes, one or two fights, but let us understand ourselves. One or two fights, say, no, oh, no, now, chain, and like that, we go look. No, 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 calm down, everybody. Let us hear ourselves. Okay. Let us stand together. We cannot be used as instruments for politicians. No. So I'm calling on, I am calling INEC out again. Conduct is not fair. You saw all our grievances. You saw us post videos. You saw where we were harassed. You saw where we were being intimidated. You saw where um, staff, uh, INEC staff did not come out on time. You saw where um, they, they, they didn't upload to be fast. Different things happened. And anyone aggrieved will go to court. I keep saying that. But while we are trying to gather ourselves again and say we still want to have strength to come out to vote for our governments or the state house of assembly, those that will represent us, we need to be assured you have you cannot claim that you have not seen what has happened. Should be now you have seen what has happened. So the duty the duty rests on your shoulder now to ensure that there is no repeat of these irregularities across the country, the, the, the states. The Nigerian police force, you have to assure us that you will take responsibility. We will be protected. Nobody will come and say, oh, now you may control, control, control one area and say you cannot vote for this, you cannot vote for that. I want to snatch ballot boxes. No, you have seen these things. So now you, you should begin to take necessary steps, necessary measures to prevent them. Nigerian youth, I'm begging you. I don't talk too much, but I'm begging don't give up. You have started something greater than ever. Did you hear what he said? Did you people hear what he said?
I'm tired. I'm tired. This is the people you are seeing every day on social media. And when you see this video today, probably this video have gotten to almost 200 and something thousand viewers. They are hailing him macaroni. They just rigged election now. The same this man, I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to hit these people hard. But I want you people to just reason. They just rigged somebody out with INEC. This guy now is telling you people that the presidential election have come and gone. And more governorship election is coming. That you people should prepare yourself for next voting. And it's now warning the INEC that they shouldn't tell them they don't see what just happened. So they should conduct themselves for the next one. I want to ask you a question. You see why I said the black people has no brain. A governor, a presidential election was rigged. What is governor election? What is half house of rep election election? And is also urging the youth to come back again and vote. Even though they stole their mandate, it does not matter. You see why I tell you that Nigerian youths, they don't know the root of their problem. Instead of this guy, I call him, I don't want to use that word to him. Instead of this guy to begin to organize and now take the bull by the horn and go and take their mandate, is what happened in this presidential election is the outcome of it will tell you what will happen in governorship election. That is why we always tell people we use our past mistake to correct the future. If you think you are not going to fight for your right in presidential election, how do you think you can be able to secure your governor chief election. Well, 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 we have said it. Nigeria is a zoo. I want to show you people because you people think that I said it time with that number. If we are calling Nigeria a zoo, we are giving Nigeria a shape by calling Nigeria a zoo. Because when you call a zoo, in a zoo, there's animals that behaves like a human being. That is why I also agree that Nigeria is a jungle. Now I want to show you people this video of a monkey. It's an animal. It's an animal. Pay attention. A monkey is making a push-up. You see it? Monkey is a making a push-up. That is what I tell you that when we are saying that Nigeria is a zoo, now he will make a, for his a, abs. His lower abs. You see what monkey is doing. This is a monkey. This is a monkey. But do you know in that zoo called Nigeria, human being never behaves like this. You see it? So when we are calling Nigeria animal, we are giving them a shape. Nigeria is a jungle. Nigeria is no, mon no man's area. Just look at what a monkey, animal they train. Sometimes... Our people will see this thing, they will say it's evil. You don't know that you can train animal, and animal will begin to behave like a human being. See monkey, they do, uh, is he not push up, uh, abs. Abs training is working on this abs. I want you people to understand that I'm tired of this contraption called Damnable Zoo, and I want our people to um, buckle their belts and embark on this journey. I greet you, my brother that spooks, he spooks well, by, you know, go back to drawing board. Go back to your root of your problem. Go back and ask yourself, what am I doing here in that contraption? <clears throat> and I also want to tell Madam Finance that all those evidences she had or her, disp or her disposal, 
as a bureau, I want you to begin to push all those evidence. Don't wait till Oyendu come. Because that is why you see me. I don't wait till Oyendu come. Oyendu have told us. On absence of him, Mazishike Dozim is in charge. The DOS, they are in charge. And everything they says goes. I believe in reality. And I face reality. Don't come and tell me that Mazishike Dozim sold Oyendu without any proof. When I'm telling you that Madam Finance closed our account, I have saw the proof by the people that they are also available to me. I have saw the proof. And I based on their proof. And I stand on their proof till otherwise. And that is why I'm telling Madam Finance and the AZ Bureau, they should begin to I'm not calling. Why, why am I calling Ezebiro? Ezebiro is the bureau? Is not part of what we are giving him suspension, not to come back again in his life. I'm telling Madam Finance. My number is on my Facebook. I have double number on my Facebook. Push me all your evidence. Push me all your evidence. But if you think that the Biafran child in Washington is nobody, you are not going to push it for me to me. That may say, now you go take your head to Kaya. And I will still stand here to urge our people not to put any money in any account that you bring out. If you think that you cannot answer to anybody, if you think that Biafran Child Watch Naked is nobody, I want to let you know that I, the Biafran child, have occupied a space here in the social media. And people list this. And we, we are telling you, if you don't bring your evidences, by the time I will finish with you people, nobody will heard about you. And when only do we come out, we must push. You see this one, we are saying that uh, the leadership don't want to expel you or do this. When Oyendu will come, we must deal with you. That is why I'm telling you, begin now to bring your evidence. There is a time to come back, to know if they are lying to you or you are the one that lying to them. And I would also like you to go to Radio Biafra. Nobody pursues you in, radio, in the Radio Biafra. You are the one that running, saying that Mazo former. Madam Finance, I want you to go to Radio Biafra and take questions. One or two questions from Biafras. They want to also ask you a question. Take one, two questions. Explain to them. Don't just come and yap and talk what you don't know and go. Say this one. Do Take questions. That is how you know civilized people. We say that we don't want to be like Zuko Nigeria. You don't want to take a question. Masi Shinasa Woro is taking a question. I'm taking a question. Not always. Because the reason why I don't so much take a question from people, I don't like people coming, uh, when they walk in, a member of mine, you did well, you are doing well. Why we never restore Biafra? I don't like all those things. Biafra never come. Why should you praise? And that is something that we are going to stop. We have, we have, that is why <clears throat> whenever a magician has a word is coming online, I urge you, don't go there and begin to praise him. Ask him a question so he will answer you. Like what I'm doing today, we are waiting for him to come. Madam Finance, you know why I'm doing all these things? We are living here in Germany. Not that you people cannot get to me. That is why I'm telling you, if you don't have my number, Go and ask this old boy, he has my number. Go to my Facebook, I have my number. The Biafran child in Wachineke, my number is there. Lovers of Freedom in Diaspora, my number is there. Uh, Rapture, Echo, Time, every, day, every place my number is there. Send me the document. Send me everything. Send me all those lies that are lying against you. I want to see it. Or you don't want people to defend you. 
So you don't want people to defend you. Remember that I defend I defend you for over one year. When the leadership said that we should forget about Ghana, we should focus on a Belima in Finland. I defend you for almost one year. Not more than one year. You and the Bureau. Just imagine when I was defending you. That is why you have to send all the whole document. If you think that you cannot send it to me because you are ashamed to send it to me or you think that I have said a lot of things that you don't like, put it in public domain. We can find it also and use it and compare it together. Now you understand. I greet you great people of Biafra. I thank you all uh, for listening. This is already two hours. I don't want to go more than this. And uh, uh, like I said, um, our people should, you know, reason and think about this. By returning back to IPOD, Biafra Restoration Project, it does not matter. You, it don't, it's not much that you are going to be the part of the family member. But make sure you are a one accord with us. So when we say we move, we move at the same time. Because we know that it's not everybody will be at the same time in this struggle. There are some people that are going to be, you know, contributing on the ground because they are afraid. I have chosen. I have chosen my path. If I will die here in Europe, it does not matter. And I'm telling you people, without missing any words, if I die in Europe, I die in heaven. And I prefer to die here than to die in that contraption. So that if I will come back again life, I will come back in this Europe. I am not lying to you people. For better for you people, if you, if, if you begin now to know your problem and always point at it, it's better for all of us. So that we can be able to get our life. For now, we don't have life. For now, we are not living. Of course, you can see me speaking. Most of all the things that I'm doing is most our people living in Biafra land. There is hunger and poverty. That is why you will see sometimes you will carry your complaint to pastor. You are hungry. You sleep. You sleep with hunger. And as you are sleeping, you are now dreaming where you are eating unkobi with a, a point and kill. And you wake up in the morning. You now call your pastor. Hey, pastor, I was eating in, in my dream. Why shouldn't you eat in your dream? Don't you, have you forgotten that your stomach was empty when you were sleeping? And before you sleep, you have already been suffering from hunger. You want to eat, but there is no food, no money. And you sleep with hunger. Definitely, 101%, you will dream. And when you will be when you are when, when you will be in that your dream, he also go to these our people that they say they are having intercourse in their dream. You see this life we are. I always face reality. That is why you see all this dreaming. Sometimes I don't care about all this nonsense. It's been a long time. I don't. I cannot count it. For almost maybe like five years, I never dream. Six years, I never dream. Because there's food here. I eat anything I want. Like some people that you say they are sleeping with a man or woman in dream. When they will wake up, they will call their pastor. Their pastor will tell them you are sleeping with Marine. You are sleeping with Wisha. It's a lie. Let me tell you something. It's like a food. You are, you are, you are hungry and you slept. It's the same thing that you are a man enough. And you don't have a woman. And whenever you are moving on the street, because you are a matured man, you need a woman beside you, not to marry, but also a girlfriend or to marry. But that stage has come. You never get to that, you know, that uh, of, oath of getting married or something like to having a girlfriend. And you are a matured man. And you are walking on the street. 
you will be seeing two different, I mean, difference of shapes of women. And whenever you see a woman that you like, you begin to think in your mind, oh, this woman is beautiful. I wish I had this woman. The same thing because you are not, you don't have, the same thing will happen to you when you go to sleep. You have that in your mind already. When you go to your sleep, you wake up, you will see that you're wet. Or you will having a sex in your dream because it's something that you have grown up enough to have, but you did not. If I tell you people today, for I don't know since I came to Germany, I never wet. I never think of sleeping with a woman in my dream because I have my woman. And I do everything whenever I want it. Because of our understanding, this is it. And I want you all that have married and you are not having a problem with your marriage or you have a girlfriend and you're not having a problem with your girlfriend, anything, everything is going well. I want to ask you, when last did you sleep with a woman in, a, in your dream? When last? You can't. Such a thing can never happen. Because that thing that you are going to get in your dream, you have already having it physically. You have feel good. It makes you, it gives you joy. So when you sleep now, you are going to be sleeping like a baby. The same thing applies to food. If you, I want to ask most of you in Western world, especially here in Germany, that the food is just nothing. When last, can you tell me when you dream about eating food in your dream? You can't. Such a thing don't happen. So in a right sense of it, while you are dreaming having a sex in dream or eating in your dream, one is because you don't have it. And don't worry, you are not, you know, I'm telling you the truth. Because then you believe it. You keep it. Believe you know, and then anytime you are hungry and you sleep, of course, he had need na law shawama. You will be eating shawama and we will be. This is what I have for you to people today, my great people, freedom fighters. I also salute our leader Mazin Nambi Bukano. We are waiting for him to be free because we know that we have already secured the release of our leader. We know the election have come and gone. We know that at least before they will exchange power to Tinubu, we are going to, Mazin Namikano is going to join us, Mark. And we also, I want to tell you people that Mazin Namikano is real sick. He's not feeling well. His health is going down every single day. And But people should stop lying against that Mazin Namikano feels down and they rush him to hospital. It's a lie. Go to Barista Fanny Jofo. Go to Mazishina Sangoru. If you go to all these people's page, if it's true, they will put it there. So you people should stop circulating a false information. And I will also use the same medium to pray for the wife of our lead, Ushe Shidi. I always pray for you that you should take heart that your husband will be soon join you and all those of your enemy will begin to cry. And when they will be crying, you will be smiling. I salute you all. Remain blessed till we see you again. Good day and have a nice day.